Hi, hello, it's Nikki and welcome to my Messy Bookshelves. So today we're going to be talking about my TBR, which is something that I have been wanting to talk about for quite some time. Uh, I have been intimidated to make this video because I thought it would be very daunting to take all of the unread books off of my shelves to show you. But I have been inspired by a video that I recently watched uh, from Graham Matthews where he showed us his uh, TBR that is on his shelves currently. And I will share his video down below in the description box. It was very funny and he is always very funny to watch. But I have been inspired to rather than pull down the books and show them to you individually, I will go through my shelves and show you the unread books on my shelves. And I must apologize if you can hear the fans in the background. I've noticed in the last couple videos that you can hear them and uh, our AC went out. We had someone come out and it's gonna be a few days before they can come and fix it, there is a leak. So we have fans scattered throughout the house, but I digress. Uh, so yes, I will be taking you, it'll probably be in multiple parts because I think it'll be boring to go through all of the shelves at the same time, but I will take you shelf by shelf and show you the unread books that I have on each shelf. So if you are interested, stick around. This one is going to be starting off with that shelf over there, and that is my classics shelf. So, so right away you can see why this channel is called My Messy Bookshelves, because I have quite a few <laughs> things on my shelves, and there's no rhyme or reason to how they are organized, so... I will start up here. So this is my classic shelf. Um, so let's move this candle out of the way. So rather than turning the books a certain way, maybe I will turn them a certain way. I will flip around the books that I have read so that the ones that I have not read are the ones facing out. I am a chronic rereader, so I have an issue where I like to read things that I love. So <laughs> yeah, we'll turn around the books that I have read and leave the ones that I haven't read facing out. So I'm more inclined to pick them up. So we have Tess of the D'Urbervilles, which I have not read, but we also have Persuasion, which I have read. So let's turn that around. I have read Mansfield Park, and I am standing on my tippy toes to reach the shelf, so I apologize if we are shaking. I have not read Anne of Green Gables. I have not read Moby Dick, though I have tried, and I will discuss this at a later time because I think this is my bit noir. Uh, this is The Picture of Dorian Gray, which I have not read. And Persuasion and Northanger Abbey, I have read both of those. So we will turn those around. Move my candle here. And this is just a, um, I guess, a Helios or a Sun Disc that I got. I pick up random knickknacks and touristy type stuff whenever I travel and I think I got this in Crete or in Cyprus when I went. So moving on, I also like to collect boxes in case you couldn't tell. So I have read Little Women. I have not read Bleak House. However, I have read Dracula multiple times. So I'll turn those two copies around. I have not read The Picture of Dorian Gray, but I have read Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice. So we will turn those around. I'm trying to do this with one hand, forgive me. Okay, and more cigar boxes that I have collected. Uh, these are just a couple of things that I picked up either in Cyprus or Crete. I cannot remember. I have actually not read The Wizard of Oz. I have not read 
Don Quixote. I have read some of Grimm's fairy tales, but not all of them, so I will leave that facing out. I have read A Little Princess, which I adore. I have not read The Jungle Book or Peter Pan. I have not read Black Beauty and The Wind in the Willows. I have read some of it, but not all of it. So that is how it looks now. Moving on to the next shelf. Let me move that candle. I have read The Iliad and the Odyssey. I have read Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I have read The Divine Comedy. I have read uh, American Gods, oh, but I have not read Anansi's Boys. I forgot to turn those around. This is very difficult with one hand. So I will leave uh, this one facing out because I have not read Anansi's Boys. I have read all of these and all of these, so I will turn both of those around. Agatha Christie, of course. I have not read Lovecraft, though I have wanted to. I have not fully read The Wizard of Oz, but I have read all of the Wicked series. I have not read The Arabian Nights. I've read some of the stories, but not all of them. I have been wanting to read Dune forever, but I have not. So that will stay facing out. I have read The Vampire Chronicles. I have read all of the Jane Austen novels move Alexander the Great there. I have read The Secret Garden. I have read Beauty and the Beast. I have read two of the three Edith Wharton novels in this, so I will leave this facing out. And then moving on to my next shelf. So we have here, oh it is bright. It's like the one place I have a lamp in this room. I have not read The Brothers Karamazov, so that will stay. I have read The Iliad. I have read War and Peace. But I do want to reread it, so now I'm torn. Should I turn it around or not? I think I will turn it around just because I want to read some stuff that I have not. This is a TBR video, so I have not read Wives and Daughters. I have read Vanity Fair. I have not read The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I have read The Woman in White, but I have not read The Moonstone. I have read Villette. I was very unsatisfied with that ending. <laughs> I have not read The Return of the Native. I have read A Christmas Carol and the other stories, The Cricket on the Hearth. Oh, David Copperfield, let me move these out of the way. I have not read David Copperfield or The Scarlet Letter. I have read Frankenstein. I have read My Bondage and My Freedom by Frederick Douglass, which was amazing so i highly recommend that one i have not read the three musketeers i have read the war of the worlds i have not read the jungle books i have not finished this i started this the histories by Her herodotus so i will leave that Agnes Grey, I have not read, nor have I read Maul Flanders. And then moving these back, I have read Middle March. I have not read Lady Chatterley's Lover, nor have I read Far From the Madding Crowd. So these will stay out, and Middle March, again, another copy, will be turned around. So moving down... I have read Gone with the Wind. 
and I have read Scarlet, which is the sequel. If you have not read it, I highly recommend it. It was excellent. I have not finished The Canterbury Tale, so that will stay. I have read The Haunting of Hill House recently for the first time. And let's see, A Passage to India, I have not read. A Tale of Two Cities, I have not read. Great Expectations, I have read, so. Okay, Grimm's Fairy Tales, we already talked about. I have not read A Journal of the Plague Year by Daniel Defoe. I have read Frankenstein. I have read, uh, no, I have not read The Time Machine. I, oh, Dante, yes, I have. Fear and Trembling, I have because it was part of a class I was taking. And these shoes, I found these when I was clearing out my mother's things. And those are a pair of my shoes from when I was a baby that she had dipped in copper or something. So they're solid. Uh, the Castle of Otranto, I have Fahrenheit 451, I have Anna Karenina, I have Mary Barton, I have not. So these from here on up, I have. So I will turn those around. Marco Polo, The Travels of Marco Polo, I have not. So those two will stay. And then we have another copy of Dante. Okay, on to the bottom shelf. So we have Madame Bovary, which I have. Oliver Twist, which I have not. What is this? Uh, some of the works of Frances Hodgson Burnett, which I have. I love her adult stuff and her children's books. Cranford, I have the manga version of Jane Eyre, which I did. Uh, we have My Cousin Rachel, which I did. Mary Ann, which I have not. Uh, then we have Oedipus, which I have not. Gilgamesh, which I did, which I actually did not like at all. This, I don't even know, I have not read this, I probably never will. Picked it up at a thrift store. Poems of Emily Dickinson, nope, I have not. Dostoevsky, The Grand Inquisitor, I have not. Great Gatsby, I have not. Another copy of Beowulf. Oh wait, that was Oedipus. This is Beowulf. I have not read that either. Mysteries of Udolpho. I have not. Utopia. I have. And Sanditon. I think this is the only one of hers that I have not read. If there's more, maybe. Edgar Allan Poe. The Collected Works. I have read some, but not all. So that will stay. Frances Hodgson Burnett. I have read all of these. The Sherlock Holmes collection. I have not read all of them. The Odyssey I have. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I have. And then what is this? The Shuttle by Frances Hodgson Burnett was excellent. I have read that. And the final one is not a classic. It is just a uh, illustrated treasury. So, like, it has, like, little fold-out pages and stuff. Jane Austen, which was excellent. So here we are. This is how we stand on this bottom shelf.
So the ones where the spine is facing out are the ones that I have not read. So yeah, looks like I have a lot of work to do. But thank you so much if you stuck around for the whole video, and I hope to see you in the next one. This was very fun to do. <laughs> Bye.